smoking weed. <laughs> Is that like not common here? I don't think so. <laughs> it's wild. Boarding school, it's like based on weed. What's it like? It's the best. <laughs> it gets your mind kind of like soft, but not like in a scary way, in like a wide way. And you just like, I don't know, man, it's fun. I try some time. Yeah, I've got plenty if you want to share. You guys all want some? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's all natural. I have heard it's got some health benefits. People use it to treat epilepsy. I don't have epilepsy. <laughs> you're already a step ahead. I think it's good to try most things once, but if you're not okay with the damage, that's fine. I just think our cultural fear of marijuana has some shady racial underpinnings. Like the incarceration of people on drug charges are primarily black men. You don't have to tell me about black people, Luna. If you really don't want to, we don't have to. She's nervous. Well, the weed will make you not nervous. Win-win. Maybe just a little. You guys go ahead. I don't know if I'm going to. Gnarly. Right, let's just get a little music going. <laughs> this thing would be great with, like, some pillows and a lava lamp. <laughs> Who's next? Me. <laughs> he need me to show you how to. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm a cook, so hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, you need help? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right, all right, okay. Uh, just put your mouth here. I'll light it for you. And and when I say go, like suck in, like really smooth, like like take a big gulp, like. Breathe it into your ass, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Three, two, one, breathe. <sighs> oh, that was a little ambitious. <laughs> Annie, can you pass me a soda? <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? Oh yeah, I'll be fine. You wanna hit? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> of my edibles though. It was really funny. It was like he was seeing ghosts everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very insensitive. I'm sure it was very scary. It was really funny. <laughs> uh, if you were a crypto or whatever, which one would you be? Gotcha fast, huh, bud? <laughs> I know. I'd be, well, probably Sasquatch. Not an alien? Yeah, well, I mean, no, as much as I love space, I'm more something from Earth. I'm something furry and lonely in the woods. I think I might be an alien. Like, one of the greys. Yeah, or a fairy. Unless you believe that fairies are just aliens, which could also be true. Whoa. Yeah, thank you for that fact. Because, like, you're smart. And in a way that's like kind of scary. In a good way. And like you're queer and you live in between worlds. 
I think I'd be a mermaid. That's not a crypto. Yes, it is a cryptid. But you're definitely a water spirit. Can you, like, elaborate? I love beauty. But, like, not in a way, way. like, art and glamour. Makeup is art. Also, I'm tough and scaly. Ew. <laughs> Metaphorically, I would be one of those classical mermaids, like the sirens. Ones that sing beautiful songs and lure men to their deaths with their voice. I wish I could lure men to their deaths with my voice. <laughs> Can I try some of the pot? Uh, yeah. Will you help me too? Of course. Here you go. What about you, Hank? Cryptid. Um, like, I, I think a ghost? Interesting. Because, like, people know about ghosts, but also like ghosts to be invisible. Uh, they're like stuck going around even though they should be gone. <coughs> no, I'm done coughing. No, like you should be gone. Well, doesn't everyone sometimes? A oh, plus like ghosts can like throw furniture and stuff and I'd love to be able to get away with that. I would love to throw stuff. Not right now, obviously. But like sometimes, like right in the middle of chemistry, just like hurl an Erlenmeyer right out the window, or into the window so that it smashes. I could never just trash a classroom. It's not that serious, girl. Everyone thinks it's so serious. I'm not a girl. Sorry. <laughs> like it's just a class. Why do we have to care so gosh dang much? No, goddamn much. It's not about the grades, it's about getting into a good school and getting out of here. Yeah, I know, but it's stupid. It really all doesn't matter. But like at the same time, it so does. If you're unhappy in the system, you can get out. There's nothing keeping you here except your own fear. There's more important things to worry about. What, like, like, Looking at the moon? <laughs> I think that was a jab. Uh, but yes, the moon's very beautiful. Luna gets it. Yeah, but I love her. Moon's great. Moon is a lesbian. They name themselves <laughs> after the moon. Themselves? Themselves. Well, are the aliens from the moon? Hey, don't be rude. It's not rude to ask questions. There's no aliens on the moon. The moon can't support life. That's true, too. Although you can't rule out sublunar life 100%. Because there's no such thing as aliens, right? Hank, can you pass me a slice? I'm hungry. Hank, I, I know your mom says one thing, but it, it was aliens. I was abducted, not kidnapped. It was Mr. Jenkins, dude. Like, I'm so sorry it happened, but it was a long time ago. I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry we kind of stopped talking to you a little bit. But if you're just trying to, like, make it easier, by saying it was aliens, that's okay. But it definitely wasn't aliens, and at least you could admit that. They couldn't arrest Mr. Jenkins because he didn't do it. I know they say he kidnapped me and, and, and had been molested me or whatever, but he didn't. He was just a scapegoat. They, they blamed him because the aliens are real, and we've been influenced by them throughout history. And it wasn't that long ago, six years ago. A bear killed Mr. Jenkins! Like, like the Foggy Bluffs monster! Why wouldn't it be a bear? I want to help you find the answers. Really? Yes. I'm not sure that I'm ready to believe that the answer is aliens, but I want to help you. You're not going to find anything satisfactory. Your prime witness is gone unless you talk to his ghost and ghosts aren't real. That's just another conversation. I've seen a ghost. Twist. <laughs> when my grandpa died, I was in class when he died, but I saw him outside of the classroom. He waved to me and he blew me a kiss. Wow. I, I thought it was weird because he hadn't done that before, but he was on the board, so he came to school sometimes. And I was taking a test, so I didn't wave back. It wasn't until later that I found out he had a heart attack that morning. He came to say goodbye. I think so. I've never told anyone that before. 
That's beautiful. Thank you. See, things like this happen. I think when people matter to you, something ties you together. Like us running into each other at the river yesterday. I mean, yeah. I've known you longer than anyone outside of my family. <laughs> Remember when we'd go play in the woods and we'd come back all covered in mud and our parents would be so mad? Oh! 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 We jinxed it! They're gonna be so mad! Put everything back in the bag, quick! This will be fine! I'm the mayor's son! <laughs>